Hey guys, this is Grill. Just installed the Cooler Master V8 CPU cooler. Uh, went fairly well. Uh, this is the second one I got. The, the first one, the RMA, due to a defect on the base, the part that actually touches the, the processor. Um, so got this one and put it in, and uh, looks good. Um, installation was uh, pretty easy. Um, it has, um, different from what I had before, it has its own uh, separate base that you have to screw in. I had to take off the old one, put the new one in, and then I have um, this piece. It's a, uh, good focus here, it's used to screw on the nuts uh, to hold the, process, the cooler in place. Um, so that was a little different from what I had before. Um, cooler Master gives you all the tools you need. Uh, this processor, processor cooler, is uh, compatible with uh, Intel and AMD, so they give you all the parts, what you need. Installed the AMD one. Uh, this was the old base. Took that off, and this was so was the old back plate. They give you all new stuff, stuff to put in. Um, so it went well. Um, so it has, uh, looks like four heat sinks that all come down to, uh, the base and it has a fan in the middle, 120 millimeter fan. Um, so cool air will be sucked in through this side and then blown out the other end. Um, so we should get a big, uh, increase of cooling, uh, with the stock one. This is the stock AMD Phenom 2 uh, processor cooler, and I idle my temps for around like 40 Celsius. So you need something better. Um, so I bought this. Looks good. Um, definitely a lot bigger. Uh, they also include Cooler Master includes um, its own thermal paste, which I have decided not to use. I use uh, this right here, the OCZ Freeze. Um, it's some pretty good stuff used on the, the previous uh, cooler. Uh, so hopefully it will work well. Don't don't need to uh, smear it out across the processor. Just put a dot in the center, and with the force of the cooler, that will push down and it will spread out all of the thermal paste into a uh, small and uh, clean surface. So there's the build. I'm running on an ASUS board. Uh, fits well and it is in there tight. Pick it up with that. Uh, so it went well and they designed this well. I was a little concerned that my memory with its extended uh, uh, the heat spreaders it's a little concerned that it may not fit underneath up here, but there's actually some room. They designed this well. I kept that in mind. Um, uh, the only downside, if you're using this cooler, you, I don't think you you would actually be able to use one of those fans like um, some of the coolers or some of the the RAM you can get, like uh, Crosshair or whatever. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Went well. Now I just have to put it back. Uh, this was the only downside with my current case. It has no um, removable motherboard tray. So, or it, it doesn't have one that has a hole in it. So I had to take out the whole board. I had to take out pretty much everything. Um, so, I plan on switching over to the Cooler Master half X once that comes out for increased airflow. Right now I have uh, this case supports two 80 millimeter, 80 millimeter fans in the front, two in the back, and one on the side panel. Um, it's very roomy in here, uh, a lot of space. I have four hard drives and these drive bays are actually removable and there they are. Um, this case only supports four hard drives um, I guess if you wanted to, you could try and squeeze one into here, but with the screws, I don't think there's enough room for that. 
Um, this is the Ultra case, the Dragon X or Dragon Glossy, whatever. They don't make these anymore. Very old case, five years old. Um, time for an upgrade, but um, they had it for the hard drives here where you can um, install a fan here. So these hard drives, they run a lot cooler than these hard drives. These can get up to around 100 Fahrenheit. These run around 80 to 90. So um, I wish they would have put, put a fan on this one too. Uh, it really helped out. These are just backup hard drives. They turn off after 20 minutes when they're not in use. Um, so don't really have to worry about too much heat problems with that. Um, this is a graphics card. This is a GeForce EVGA 9800 GTX Plus with one gig of uh, the memory, video memory. Nice card, cool, cools uh, pretty well. Runs, runs around idle, like 40 Celsius. Uh, so that runs well. This is my motherboard box. Just wondering what it is. The M3N 72-D. This one supports AM3, uh, but I believe I would need a BIOS upgrade if I want to ever switch to that. Um, great board. Uh, it has uh, six SATA ports. Uh, four on the side here, and then two uh, facing up. Uh, SLI support, and it also has hybrid SLI support with built-in, like a 8800 or whatever, uh, with HDMI support. Uh, very nice uh, board. Uh, it's done great. Uh, it's big increase over my old uh, um, single core uh, processor. The, it, the old board supported uh, AMD socket 754. So this one is very nice. Highly recommend it if you're looking for a, um, a cheap uh, motherboard. This one, when I bought it uh, in the summer, it ran for about uh, 120 bucks. Works well. Also, I'll conclude this video with uh, the Cooler Master uh, CPU cooler. It has variable fan speed, so this just goes into a PCI slot. Like so and you can choose if you want faster uh, flow. So, there you go. Thanks for watching this video, and I'm signing out.